KO Challengers isn't a new entry in the franchise. It's actually KO Round 2, just downscaled and ported onto the PSP. The two games even have the same box art. Only the title differs. Okay, and the PSP has something else. It has multiplayer, which the console version doesn't. Also in single player, the PSP version has 4 additional levels. It's not the first time that the PSP has more content than the console than the big console version, but yeah, this time again, the PSP has more content and the PSP version is superior in content, not really in graphics. KO Challengers is a light-hearted platformer. The characters are charming, though I have to warn you that there were some parts in the game that maybe your kids will have difficulty to pass especially if they're really young. I mean, while playing I had this sensation on multiple parts in the game that, man, a kid would have difficulties here for sure. But maybe I'm underestimating the young ones, I don't know. Some reviewers also complain that the game is very formulaic, and I totally disagree. It's true that you have a villain, in this case Barnaba, who captured animals for his evil scheme, so you have the villain, the hero, Kao, goes to free the animals and beat the end boss. And to get to the end boss, you also beat smaller bosses first. The game has a hub from where you go to the 6 locations on the map. Once you platform your way through the levels and beat small fry, you beat the end boss of the section and then progress onto the next bosses and finally you get to the final boss. That's formulaic, yes, but that's a very simplistic view. You also get other familiar elements, but the game is far from being formulaic. In fact, the game pushes new elements constantly. I completely disagree with those reviewers who say that the game is repetitive and the usual. I mean, have they even played the game? Sure, it fits into the template of the game of this sort, but just because something is familiar doesn't mean that it's unoriginal or repetitive. The way Kyo moves, the puzzles, the cutscenes, makes the game a unique and charming experience. And the game pushes so much variety that you won't be having deja vus. You can split the gameplay into roughly 3 parts, with an occasional 4th one. Platforming, combat and tunnel sections where you slide, go on water or get chased and there are also an occasional puzzle section. In platforming, the jumping animation is weird at first but you get used to it. In combat you can make KO jump, punch, roll, tail whip, butt stomp or toss a boomerang. You can upgrade his stats with stars you collect on the map. Also most combat parts seem difficult for a little kid in my eyes, or at least that's how I feel. In the water, snowboarding and other tunnel sections, the controls are intuitive and these sections work great to give more variety to the game. Puzzle sections are creative and help to make the game even more varied. Visually, the game is also varied because it has 6 locations with different enemies and each boss has a unique quirk to beat. There are also frequent cutscenes in the game which make the experience mellow. The story takes around 3 to 5 hours to finish which is standard to long for PSP standards, and the PSP version also has multiplayer. I didn't have friends to test the multiplayer component, but just know that you can play death matches and do vehicle races like in the story mode. There are 4 characters to choose from in multiplayer and it looks fun. Overall, I consider KO Challengers a hidden gem. The execution is amazing. It's varied both visually and in gameplay mechanics, the controls are responsive and good, and most importantly, it's a great experience and it feels high quality. I consider KO Challengers a hidden gem.